Hey everyone, so I wanted to talk a little bit because someone asked me a question. What's the difference between a milk snake and a king snake? And to be completely honest with you, there isn't actually a whole lot of a difference. So, this is Iota. She is our female albino tangerine Honduran milk snake. Um, so really the difference between milk snakes and king snakes is that milk snakes are just a species of king snake. So all of them are in the genus Lampropeltis, which if you've watched some of the other king snake videos, that's the genus that make up the king's milk snakes. There's only over 40. You okay there, little one? She's a little chilly, um, but she's just, for whatever reason, she decided to just hang out on the cool spot for a while. So she's just going to be cruising one now that she's up against this warm body. Um... There's over 40 species of king snakes, which include the milk snakes. And of those milk snakes, there's, I think, 22 or 24 subspecies of milk snakes. So the Lampropeltis genus, what I mentioned before, that's the Latin name. And what that translates to, roughly, is shield belly. So it's a little harder to tell on her because of her morph. But if you look at her belly, it's pretty shiny. So shiny shield belly kind of a rough translation, that's the Lampropeltis. And if you look at really any of the species of king snakes, if you look at their underbellies, it is pretty shiny as opposed to like a lot of the boas and ball pythons, you know, excluding like the IMG boas or whatever. They're kind of a pale looking color in, in comparison with ball pythons are usually pure white and you've latched onto the table little one. But that's really about the only difference is the fact that they're just actually a different species of the genus Lampropeltis. So really, they're kind of cousins, I guess you could kind of say. Kind of like how boa imperators and boa constrictors. They're both still boas, but they're two entirely different species. So once you go in and look at the milk snakes, that's where you get the difference. Like the Hondurans, the Blacks, the Nelsons, the Puebloan milk snakes. And then the king snakes, they're just as variable as milks. Because, you know, the Nelsons, they're looking at around the two to three feet range. For the most part, they can get a little bit bigger. I shouldn't just say in general, but and then like the Hondurans and the Blacks, which are huge, arguably some of the largest species of the Lampropeltis genus, which, without exaggeration, frequently get over six feet long. I'm not exactly sure how long Iota is here, but she's probably around five-ish feet, maybe a little bit longer. It's hard to tell; she never really stops moving, but. That's really about the only difference. And like, so I said that they're very variable. The king snakes, because there are more species of what we of what is called king snake versus milk, they're even more variable, which we talked about in the previous video um, about are king snakes the best ones. I mean, you have some like the scarlet king snakes, which are usually under a foot in length, to you know the Brooks and Florida king snakes that get over this like get to this size in that five six sometimes longer range. So. Highly variable, a lot of different morphs and phases in all of them, just like the king snakes. So, you know, the Honduran milk snake here, Iota. So, the hype, so tangerines, type of hypo, and then albino. So, that's how you get the albino tangerine. There's a white phase versus the regular, because what this would be tricolor normally. There's uh, a white phase, which changes that up a little bit of the albino. And we have the male Ada, but he does not like being handled, so I really don't want to take him out because I don't like to show bites, and I honestly don't really like getting bit either. Um, but that's okay. Um, you know, in the just in the Hondurans, there's also Annery and a whole bunch of other combinations you can do with that. In the Puebloans, there's a bunch of different phases, like the Halloween phase, which looks really cool. The Nelsons have splotched and and uh, albino, and I think there's another one too, but I can't quite remember, but that's okay. Either way, that's really the basis of what I was going for in this little kind of quick video about what's the difference between a king snake and a milk snake. Basically, it's kind of a nuance, common, lane, common name jargon, and then just different species in general. There's still, it's, the care is for the most part the same depending on where you get them, like Hondurans, they're more from kind of higher elevation, but more tropical in Central America versus like a California king snake, which is more arid. So a little bit more humidity versus some things, whatever. The care is still pretty simple, pretty still, pretty, still pretty easy and just make absolutely wonderful pets. As you've seen, this girl has really not stopped moving. So she's a milk snake. So just like king snakes, they have that kind of bad rap of just you know taking munches of bites and even when I had the female Theras out she was just fine even right next to her 
And also, just like in king snakes, milk snakes have a tendency to be cannibalistic and eat other snakes, including their own species. So maybe not put them together unless you're planning on breeding, and even then, um, I would keep an eye on them when you do put them together, just so you don't have any incidents. But either way, absolutely amazing pet. I love Iota. I don't know if I'm going to breed them together because albino, albino, but that's okay. That's for future Jay-Z endeavors. Hopefully this you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it answered any questions or confusion that you might have been asked or you kind of didn't really think about or you always wondered a little bit too. Uh, please like and subscribe if you can for more snake content, more reptile content, and animal in general. Um, please hit the bell notification so you guys can let YouTube know that I actually exist. Thank you for all the views of the watchers that are out there. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook. If you want to head over to Patreon, that'd be really appreciated too. Hope you're having a great day, and we'll check you next time.